Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky, and I love all things fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. If you're interested in my review on the Forever Moon and Sol de Janeiro candles, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's get into this. I'm going to be reviewing a couple of these candles because I feel like the next time I would probably mention them will be in an empties video. So I kind of wanted to touch on them before then. In the event any of you were interested in purchasing these items and wanted someone else's opinion on them. So the first item up is my Sol de Janeiro Cherosa 62 candle. Let's see, it's Cherosa. I, I think... I keep saying Cheerosa, it's Cherosa, Cherosa, but it's the Bum Bum Cream scent. And this is what the candle looks like. So I did purchase two of these candles. So this is the other one. This is what it looks like. And it is an eight ounce candle and it has that pistachio and caramel scent. So I'm only able to show what it looks like unlit because I have two of them. So here is what it looks like fresh out the packaging. And it smells pretty identical to the Bum Bum Cream when it's cold. But that's pretty much the only time I smell the Bum Bum Cream scent. Which is unfortunate because these candles retail for $42. And we don't love that when the candle doesn't perform. Now... I'm okay with spending money on things that I like, things that, especially when it performs well, like we all know, especially um, since recently I just bought, you know, fragrances and a lot of them don't perform that well, but they smell good. So, I mean, we all bite the bullet on that. And I guess candles are no different, but I feel like for a candle at least, um, I feel like the money's gone quicker because once it's burned, that's it. As opposed to a perfume, even if it doesn't perform well, you're still, you still have more time with it, if that makes sense. I just felt like for $42, I think I did get 20% off, but either way, for that price, I felt like I needed more of that Bum Bum Cream scent and I didn't get much of that at all. I felt like the candle was a very soft and light scent and it doesn't actually burn all the way down. It did get a little sooty, as you can see around the edges. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but that black part is what the wick is in. So it can't burn past where it's at now. And if you can kind of see through, it stops like right about here. So I think the ounces is misleading because you don't actually get like that last part because that's like the metal casing that's holding the wick in place. So overall, I didn't hate the candle, um, but I certainly didn't love the candle. I do think at some points it did get a little sooty, but um, I would not repurchase this. I would say if you were into collecting candles and are interested in trying it and don't mind the price, by all means, do your thing. But for me, I will not be repurchasing this and I'm kind of depressed about having a second one because I might have to go through this all over again. I will say this has lasted a while because I've been like lighting it on and off and I think I've had it for maybe um, six weeks at this point. I think I bought this at some point in early November. So I guess, but um, yeah. This wasn't really, for me, I just wish it had a better um, scent to the candle when it's burning because it doesn't smell like bum bum cream to me when it's burning. And I think that's unfortunate because a lot of us love that bum bum cream scent. So, you know, whatever. So next are my Forever Mood candles. And the first one I have is caked up and i think that's like a mauve color and um there are not any notes listed on here so i need to pull up my sephora app 
So the notes in this are almond cream, honey, and vanilla bean. And I was actually lighting it like at the same time with my um, Sol de Janeiro candle because I felt like they had a similar um, vibe going when lit. So I just felt like together, I, I guess they kind of worked out. And this one is not finished. I'm, ooh, it's a little. So this candle I'm still working on. It's not finished yet. It's like probably down here right now. And I like them on and off. I do have a wick cutter now. So I do trim the wick before each time I light it. And it's a soft scent my friend came by and I had it lit and she said that she couldn't really smell anything and she was standing right by it so that's also unfortunate especially since there's so much hype around the forever mood line I don't know about all the rest of the forever mood candles I just know about the two I have and caked up it smells okay it's a light scent but um I feel like some candles you can buy from Walmart for like three or four dollars and you'll get a better scent throw but that's just me and my own personal um uneducated about candles opinion so not a bad candle not a bad scent I just wish it had a better scent throw so again I'm not gonna you know outright tell you not to buy the forever mood candles if you're interested in trying them but I will recommend you if you're gonna buy them, buy them on sale because I bought these when they were, when you know, Sephora had the 20% off. So that's when I picked them up and um, I'm not sure if I would repurchase Caked Up. And my last candle here is Left on Red. So it's this pretty lilac color, which you probably can't tell through my um, camera. And the notes in here are tropical fruit, coconut, and caramel. And this one, I like the scent a lot better in here than in Caked Up. Um, you see it, it's got kind of sooty on that side. And um, I actually haven't had this lit in a couple of weeks. So, but I do like the smell of this. And honestly, this smells similar to the Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow Candle, except that one has that noticeable peach scent. And this does not have that peach scent, but... It's essentially a soft scented kind of candle. So I do plan to have these two lit together. Once I light it, I'll probably try that tomorrow. Hopefully I'll do that before I start editing this video so that I can like leave a review on how they perform together. Of my two Forever Mood candles, I do prefer Left on Red over Caked Up. So that's my own opinion but it really does depend on your scent profile as far as candles go everyone's different as far as how they like candles some people like um cinnamon clovey spicy scent some people like tobacco scented candles some people like um citrus uh clean fresh linen rosy florally sugary sweet candy so Whatever your candle vibe is will determine on how you'll feel about um, the candle scents. Overall, I think the Forever Mood candles are worth a try, you know, if you're interested in trying them out. I know that Sephora has that sample set but that has four of them that are um, smaller than this size and you can try that out and with them being smaller, you'll go through them quicker um so there's that so i mean try it out see how you feel uh the worst that can happen is you lose a few dollars and you know going about your business so that's just my own take on that so i wasn't gonna put a bath and body works candle in this review video but it's sitting right by me so i will and that is blackberries and basil and the notes to this are fresh picked blackberries, sparkling champagne, and aromatic basil. Um, this one I'm still in the process of lighting. This one I had lit probably yesterday, I want to say. And I've been lighting it on and off. So I'm about here, probably about like 60% through the candle. And 
my opinion on the blackberries and basil candle is that it smells much better cold than lit to me like the candle was kind of suffocating me and i'm glad that i lit it like right after candle day because i bought four of these because i was obsessed with the way it smelled on cold and i have bought a single wick one during the single wick candle sale but i still haven't lit that one yet and had i have lit that I wouldn't have purchased these during candle day. And um, so I did march back the other three to the store that I didn't like. And this, uh, <sighs> it kind of brings me back to when I said that I didn't like Bath and Body Works three wick candles in the first place, because I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. The few candles that um, are three wicks that I have lit so far, I've been struggling with bad. Aside from the strawberry pound cake one, that one is Bay. That's probably gonna be like the only, so far that's the only three wick candle that I've lit so far that I liked. Um, I have plenty more to go, but yeah, I've been struggling bad with these three wick candles. So considering all the trauma I went through on candle day and for some of these candles to not give what I need for them to have gave, okay? Um, I don't know, but I mean, if you like the blackberries and basil candle, I love that for you. I don't love that for me because I felt like it was suffocating me and I just, you know, I'm lighting it just so that I can get through it because when I spend my money on something and I don't like it, I still try to force myself to at least use it you know so that is my little review on my candles so far um thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video